Hey guys, Penny here from Monaco Nail Academy and over the next few minutes we are going to test out the brand new uh, liquid and powder brush from Artistic Nail Design and see what we think. The brush is a number 10 sized oval Kalinske sable brush made with responsibly sourced Kalinske fibers. It comes in this casing to keep it protected and is covered with a lid at one end and the handle is full of black crystals which I love. Now generally you guys see me work with an old limited edition brush which is called the crystal brush but it had these nice clear crystals. It wasn't specified as a size but it looks roughly the same as the new one, we'll see. I'll pop off this casing and it should in theory be filled with starch, which it is, so let's break that out first to prep the brush. And then condition it in some monomer. So conditioning a brush gets all of the air out, it gets any leftover starch out, it ensures less air bubbles and just basically conditions the bristles the same way that you would condition your hair. So it's just prepping them ready to be used. So far I really like the feel of it. This is my brush, the original crystal brush and this is the new one. They look pretty similar. This one, the new one, does feel a little bit fuller in terms of bristles. It doesn't look it, I know, but so far it just feels a little fuller. I dare say that they're basically the same size brush though, which is really good. That means it's going to be nice and easy for me to adapt to. Let's try picking up a bead. I swear it feels fuller. The bristles are just the right mix of soft and firm for me. Yeah, I'm really liking working with this. It's very reminiscent of the original crystal brush, which everybody freaked out over. Like, it used to sell out the second that it came in um, to our online store, it would be gone again. And I really, I think this is about as close as we're going to get to the original crystal brush, maybe slightly fuller, but I'm really liking the quality. Um, honest of all honest reviews, I was really worried that this would be a wolf in sheep's clothing like looked like the crystal brush um, appeared to be as good as the crystal brush and then wouldn't be I really like it let's see another bead let's try holding a lot of liquid obsessed um, and another good test will be whether it can do small work so when I do 3d art I always still work with my large crystal brush and I will drain most of the liquid out spin it up to a point and then pick up just a small bead I do feel like at the moment my brush needs a little more conditioning for this sort of thing. There's one stray here just sitting here which I think is actually attached but is oh yep yeah, it was. It's not anymore. Um, it was longer than the others so it might just be a case of those couple of strays that can come with a brand new anything really and getting the brush properly conditioned. Um, but it's not bad at all. Um, the speed's not going to do anything spectacular because I left it while I played with that stray um, hair. I think the bristles are splitting just slightly at the tip but I think that's because of the starch. I think that because I am doing this well not live but live on a video I didn't prep it for as long as I would have and that starch will definitely cause it to split but if you're not going to be doing 3D work then it doesn't matter so much anyway like you can see it looks nice it's not like it's got a big split in the middle it's just not necessarily doing the same job as my perfectly tapered 
original crystal brush. Yeah, it's working really nicely for forming petals. I think, I think we have a winner, guys. I'm really excited by this brush. I'm really excited to keep working with it and experimenting with it and conditioning it as well. Um, I will post an update uh, probably on our Instagram in a couple of weeks when I've used it a bit. At the moment, at the time of filming this, which is, we, we just got these yesterday, they arrived yesterday, um, brand new released, um, but we're in level three lockdown at the moment because of the COVID-19 virus. So um, I'm not really doing that many clients, but when I teach and demo the occasional nail, I will do it with this brush for the next couple of weeks and see how it goes. So I'll do an update on our Instagram page um, at Monaco Nail Academy when I have played with it a bit. I genuinely think it's going to just firm up totally fine when I've used it a little bit and conditioned it properly. But realistically, the only thing that impacts is if I want to sculpt 3D art, which a lot of people have smaller brushes for anyway. In terms of beads, I think it's, it's holding a really good amount of liquid. It's nice and easy to control. The firm versus soft sort of, um, I don't know, that, that aspect of the bristles, I really like. Um, it's not, it doesn't, some brushes feel fluffy, um, like cheaper brushes especially feel fluffy. And this does not feel fluffy, this feels good quality, the bristles individually seem to be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm really really happy with this, I'm very glad that it is a positive review um, and that I can be excited about it, um, that makes my day. So yeah, nice, short, quick bonus video, but I am very excited to say that we have a crystal brush equivalent finally in the artistic range. Really, really happy. Um, needless to say, you can get yours at www.monaco.ac.nz if you're in New Zealand, but if you're not, go to the artistic website, artisticnaildesign.com and look for a stockist in your area. Video not sponsored. Yes, we sell them, but also I just want to be able to do honest product reviews on this channel and um, this is one of them. I'm really happy with it. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I do think that my crystal brush, my original crystal brush, is like a 10 out of 10 perfect dream brush. Um, this is definitely a 9 um, and I think I will be converting to it to do some more testing. Tell me in the comments below this video what product you would like me to test. It doesn't have to be artistic. Our training is product neutral. I'm a neutral nail tech. I just choose to use primarily artistic products and because I primarily use artistic, it's what we offer to our students. It's what we know and I trust it. I like working with it. However, I would love to be testing other bits and pieces. So tell me in the comments what you would like to see me test next. And while you're here, give us a like and a follow as it really supports what we're trying to do with these videos. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.